Well, hi everyone. Today we are going to present about the problem in the use of ionic compounds and covalent compounds in medicine sector. So firstly, we need to know about the objective. So uh, we need to identify the method of researching information. We also need to identify the ionic compound and covalent compound which commonly used in medicine field. Also, we need to state the pro problems of using the ionic compound and covalent compound which were identified in medicine area. So lastly, we need to provide and analyze the data based on the problem stated. So this is our problem statement which is uh, what are the problems in the use of ionic compound and covalent compound in medical area. So for introduction, uh, during our chemistry lesson, we, are, we, are, we have been introduced about the covalent compound and ionic compound. So the compa these compounds are commonly used in our daily life and, uh, and will bring benefits and also some bad implications to us and the environment. So we need to, uh, so this report will discuss about the problem brought by this compound. So for the research method, we are going to use the internet. This is due to the reason of pandemic because uh, the COVID-19 situation has let us cannot go out to, care, to do research. So uh, through our research on the internet, we have found that there are a few ionic compounds and covalent compounds that contribute to the problem. So um, the ionic compound that we found is iron 2 sulfate. So iron 2 sulfate is actually toxic to aquatic life and the pre precipitation of iron 2 sulfate will, will clog the respiratory organs and cause inflammation in the fish and invertebrates. So for covalent compounds, we have found that ibuprofen will cause um, effects on the fish health, according to researchers. So our findings is, um, in aspect of health problems, iron 2 sulfate will cause some side effects to our body such as constipation, contact irritation, diarrhea, dark stools, gastrointestinal hemorrhage, gastrointestinal irritation, nausea, stomach pain, and vomiting. Um, on the other side of the spectrum, ibuprofen will cause some stomach-related side effects such as sour stomach, diarrhea, cloudy urine, heartburn, indigestion, nausea, noisy, rattling breathing, and weight gain. So we have found some data to support our claims of the observation and findings. So uh, for health problems, which is about the side effects of the ionic compounds and covalent compounds towards our body, we have found that um, iron 2 sulfate in a test of mid Mirzai et al, there are five participants which reported side effects of heartburn, 70% which reported nausea, two reported abdominal cramps, and one reported constipation. Um, the, other, the other data is about ibuprofen dosage. So, there are, there are a few dosage of ibuprofen such as 400 mg, 600 mg, and 800 mg. The data shows that um, no matter how much ibuprofen that you take, it will still give you the same result. So if you eat if you eat too much of ibuprofen, there will be higher chance of getting the side effects. Thanks, my part. And discussion, we found that iron sulfate is one of the pollutants towards the ecosystem of marine life. Uh, this iron 2 sulfate may cause an inflammation, is, which is a protective reaction of the horse in response to injury, resulting in a specific morphological and chemical change in tissue and cells. Uh, on the other side, the ibuprofen. Ibuprofen is uh, in environment concentration of 0, 0 0.1, 1, and 10 uh, by the, uh, 
milligram uh, per liter on a fresh water species Ramdia quillen exposed for 14 days in posterior kidney ibuprofen increased the uh, glutathione S transferase activity in all groups exposed This N2 sulfate uh, uh, may cause a uh, common uh, GI symptoms from acute exposure to these metals include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, uh, GI epithelial irritation, gastroenteritis, and abdominal pain. While these symptoms are fairly uh, not non-specific, acute exposure to a select few of these heavy metals co- uh, can produce serious toxicity in the GI tract. Ibuprofen could lead to a chronic damage towards our digestive tract and can cause a stomach disorder. And this, uh, we conclude four suggestions to overcome this problem we found. The first thing, uh, the main measure to prevent pollution is to avoid the washing and disposing iron 2 sulfate into silver and zinc. And secondly, never try to dispose the medicine like ibuprofen by flushing it away because this is a terrible idea which may lead to an accumulation of pollutant towards the environment. And thirdly, uh, thirdly we should avoid taking antacids, uh, dairy products, tea or coffee within 2 hours before and after we take this medicine because it will decrease the effectiveness of taking this kind of medicine. We should take the tablets and capsules with a full glass of water, eight, uh, between 8 ounces or 240 milliliters, and do not lie down at least 10 minutes after you're taking the tablet or capsule dose. And then uh, lastly, we suggest you to avoid uh, alcohol to minimize the risk of stomach irritation and have a lot of water or fluids when taking the NS. NSAIDs uh, beside and avoid high calorie food. Uh, to sum up it all, uh, there are uncountable use of ionic compounds and covalent compounds in our daily life, including the field we studied uh, specifically in this report, medicine. Undoubtedly, the appearance of ionic compounds and covalent compounds seems to lead a big leap in the medical field and help us to encounter disease that invade human bodies since it had been discovered. I think that's all from us. Uh, this is all our findings and results from our searching and throughout the internet. And thank you for watching.